Hi guys, today we're going to do some sea trouting. We are out on the coastline of Denmark. It's a quiet day, a bit too quiet for our likings, but on the plus side it's warm. And uh, we suspect that the fish are going to move into the shallows in the warm water and we are going to be doing a bit of finesse sea trout fishing for them today. So this is one of the first real spring days. We have some uh, nice weather and we hope that the water will warm up during the day so the sea trout will be active. So uh, let's hit it and see if we can find some. This time of year the, the sand deals are moving in towards the shores. I don't know if they're on this stretch of coast. I know a little bit further north they're already there. But there, there should be sand deal here. Either they're already here or they will be here any day. And anyway, the trout, they, they will know what they're hunting. So early spring, uh, Sermel, it's fantastic lure, which has caught me a lot of big fish. Just five minutes ago, I had a fish following uh, the salty inline in olive io color. I'm using a 22 gram lure here to, to cover a lot of water. But as the weather is so nice, it's calm wind and clear water, it's wise to downsize a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get one of them to bite and not just follow the lure. Yeah, aye! Lost it. It was a nice one. Yeah. Didn't manage to get a good hook set on it. It's not a lot of fish here, but there's some. Oh, you have a follower? You have a yeah. follower? Oi! The fish here. Okay, David, we need to. Uh, got it! Good. A small, that's a small one. one. But a fish. But a fish. I'm just going to take this one with the hand, it's like a small fish, just above or below the minimum size. I'm going to be a little bit quick with this one because it seems like there's a school. Small trout. Oi. Yeah, thanks for the fight. Bye bye. So we're going to switch spot now. We have had uh, some fish here following our lures and uh, and Andreas caught one. Uh, but they are really tricky and the water is so calm and the water is clear. So, so they are not really that active. Um, so we're going to change the spot. We're going to drive further out to a spot where we know the wind has been against the coast yesterday. Uh, there might be some murky water, which can uh, make the fish more active. We're gonna yeah, move on, see if there's easier fishing at the next spot. So, let's go. So, new spot, new conditions. Looking much better than the other spots. Uh, we have a bit of wind here. Seems, seems good. Looks promising. Hopefully we will find some fish feeding on sand eels here because this is the kind of spot that the sand eel comes quite early in the season. So we, we could get lucky here. The tactic is to search until we find them and then once we find them to stay on them. So, so basically we're going to cover a lot of ground today. It's going to be a lot of walking. We're going to start out with the lure called Sermet, as it's uh, imitating a sand eel really nicely. Uh, yeah, we both, both of us has, has it on, so yeah. And then we're going to try out some different lures if uh, this one doesn't work. Got one. There's a fish. Decent fish. Very nice. 
We've been fishing for 10 cast or so. The dress has one on uh, on summit, the nail. Nice and silvery, just like we want them. Ah, it's nice to know that they're home. It's going to be a good day after all. So when then fighting this, I mean, using the W10 watt rod, and I just love this rod. It's for sea trout fishing. It has the power in the back to cast really far. The tip is very forgiving when fighting fish, especially also smaller fish that when like very powerful rods have a tendency to be very stiff in the tip, uh, which tends to lose you a lot of fish. But this rod doesn't have it. And it's super sensitive when you wanna feel the bites. So, I mean, it has all the key features you want in a good rod, and this one does it all. I just think it's a real, real silverfish, yeah. fat one. And I mean, the, at, these are exactly, the 60 this time of year, getting what we call a overspringer in Danish. Like, this fish has spent the winter in the ocean, hasn't been spawning, and they're just extremely beautiful when you get them springtime, and they fight, fight really hard. It's not that well hooked, so David gonna yeah. net it now. Perfect! Oh, it's actually smaller than I thought. Really nice fish. But it's a good one. So tin cast here in the wind. 62, 63 centimeters, two kilo fish. Nicely hooked right in the scissors. So on, on Matt Tobies, the color, on Summit. The floating landing net here is really good for catch and release because it has this rubber mesh. The edge here is floating, so you can, if you need to, have it in the water, fiddle with your things until you're ready to handle the fish, and no harm will come to it. With your fingers, for handling it, nice bar of silver. Gonna put this one back. The water is still very cold, so it's safe to handle a fish in these conditions, but yeah. Would say two kilo fish. Nice one. Perfect. Very Let's good. see if we can get another one. Hopefully a bigger one. Actually, this. This was fighting this, like this, a bigger fish. Yeah, it was a lot smaller than I thought. Actually, I thought it was bigger. All-time favorite lure for sand eel fishing. Summit. Matt Tobi's color. I think probably caught 80% of my big fish on this lure in this color. Let's see if there's another one. Should be. It was in right on the sand here. It's difficult to see on the camera, but you have a lot of dark areas out here and then you have a piece of sand. And if you do get fish, you usually get them on the areas where there's basically a change in environment uh, and the sand this time of year is good because that is where the sand eel will be and if you do get fish there that's a really good sign because that means there are most likely sand eels in which the fish are of course targeting so I think it's gonna be a good day. Should be more. There should be more fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Good one. Nice. Ah, uh, it's not that big, but it's a sea trout. Far out or in yeah, close? yeah, quite far out. It's jumping oh. a lot. This one. So I just switched to summit in 28 gram Matsobius to get some distance on my my cast, and this one uh, took far out. That's a decent fish. Not that small. Not that small, it's a nice one.
The setup for the sea trout fishing is uh, quite simple. We use uh, eight to 10 foot rods, uh, casting weight from five to 40 gram in between this range. Today we have a second generation W4 spin rod with us. This is a nine foot version and a W10 spin rod in a 10 foot version. The, the reels we're using are generally three to 4,000 in size. The braid is 0.10 to 0.14. And for the inline lures we're using, we also use uh, one meter of fluorocarbon rig like this. Mainly in these conditions where the water is really clear and quite calm, we're using natural colors. So as close to the bait fish as possible. So greenish, brownish colors, which imitate sand deals really good. And sand deal is the predominant food, food source at the moment for the sea trout. Baits like Sermil, Soldi Inline, and Sølpilen are all really good options. A great tip for coastal sea trouting is a waterproof backpack. Uh, this one is a roll top, so open it like this, close it down like this, close it, and it's basically submersible. Uh, you can have all your bits and pieces that you don't use all the time in here and you can have the stuff that absolutely cannot get wet in here. Uh, when wading slippery rocks like this, the risk of taking a swim is quite high and uh, yeah, it's just nice to know that your electronics and other stuff are safe in the backpack. So absolutely a must for me anyway. So enough about the gear. Should we hit the coast again? Yeah, let's get one. Yeah, all right, the next door. I got one, <laughs> finally. Nice small sea trout. I'll just see if I can get the hook. <laughs> yeah, that was one. Yeah, it's the same size fish we have. Well, that one is fat, but the other one has been quite skinny. Nice. Some evening action here. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a nice one. No, no, small no. one. But it's a fish. It's a fish. Actually interesting. It's uh, starting now here when the light is getting low. I did not expect that. Oh, sorry. Some <laughs> <laughs> been <laughs> It's not camera shy, this one. <laughs> 